Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at different types of signals. There are two types of signals. The first one is continuous signals. The second one is discrete signals. The main property of a continuous signal is that it is a function of a continuous independent variable, whether it could be is whether it is time or space or any other chosen variable. And it has values, valid values at all possible locations in the domain. And for example, it is represented by x of t when the independent variable is time. Now a continuous signal might look like it is basically sine of t for values t equal to 0 to 2 pi radians the sign value changes from 0 to plus 1 and then minus 1 and it basically moves within this envelope however it, it has a value at all possible values from 0 to 2 pi that is there are infinite possible values for t in this interval and so has the and so there are infinite possible values for the function sine of t therefore such a signal has infinite possible values in this interval it's that is the main property of continuous signal and another signal say tan of t has the following structure that is at 0 tan has a value 0 but at 90 it has a discontinuity and from and, uh, and the value of t changes from 90 to greater than 90 or pi by 2 in radians its value again starts at minus infinity slowly comes to 0 at pi radians and this discontinuity exists at pi by 2. Therefore, the tan function is discontinuous at t equal to pi by 2, but it is continuous between 0 and values of t less than pi by 2. And similarly, for values greater than pi by 2 and below pi, it is continuous. That is, tan of t is continuous for values of t less than pi by 2 but not continuous not continuous for value of t equal to pi by 2 and again continuous for values greater than pi by 2 and less than pi now let us look at some real world examples of continuous signals most common example is the electromagnetic waves for example radio waves or microwaves they are basically continuous waves in three dimensional space well, next popular example is the sound wave it is basically disturbance in the air medium so it is also a continuous signal of space and then ecg signal which is basically recorded by using the electrocardiogram instruments which basically record voltage versus time here it is a continuous signal time now let us look at the definition of discrete signal when this is a function of discrete time or spatial locations or any other chosen independent variable it has valid values only at these chosen locations whether in time or space or any other variable and at all other locations they are usually zero for example uh, the discrete signals in time are represented by x of n that is a discrete signal it looks something like that is it has no values within these between these locations that is it, the value is zero at these intervals but within these intervals but it has values only at this predefined locations and this is x of n this is discrete now let us look at examples of discrete signals so this one is sensex data that is basically uh, the data taken at each year from say 91 to 2013 and then this one shows sports performance data it is specifically score, uh, batting score of uh, graham hick a cricketer from england this plot basically shows the performance of the most powerful computers from these different countries and we can clearly see that United States has 16.42 petaflops and different countries have decreasing performance from Germany to Canada and this type of data here the independent variable is basically the countries and there is no meaning in talking about a continuous variable here because there are there is nothing like half a country or a one and a half country there are only discrete countries are discrete nations so this is a very good example of discrete signal thus to summarize there are two different types of signals it is continuous signals and discrete signals the continuous signals basically exist at all possible values of the independent variable within the defined interval and discrete signals only exist at predefined locations within the interval